Hey guys, I'm Chloe, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on gymnastics. So, um, the tutorial I'm going to be teaching you is how to do a chin-up pullover on the bars. So, um, this can help you get your pullover if you haven't had it, or if you have your pullover but you want to make it look fancier or improve it. Um, this might include some tips that will help you. Um, Christmas came and went, and throughout that week that I didn't post, I got a gymnastics bar, and I'm very excited, and I use it all the time. So thanks, Mom and Dad and Grandma. But um, that's what I'm gonna be using, and if you have an at-home bar, this is great for practicing. So when you do to go to class, if you go to class, you can show them your new school skills. Or if you're an at-home gymnast and you are self-taught, this might help. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm at my bar now. And I have the height adjusted to the um, highest it will go. So it's at my nose right now. Um, but I recommend when you're starting out doing pullovers that you start at a lower height such as your chest or your chin, um, and then working your way up. I just found that easier for me. Um, I also recommend having a spotter with you, so such as a family member or a friend. Um, that will really help. I had a spotter growing up, but if you don't have a spotter, I know you can still do it. There's a few things that might help you. So, Starting with a pullover, um, this is a not a two feet pullover because that's a little more advanced or it was harder for me. I'm still not able to do it yet. I'm closer but I'm not quite there. Um, this pullover is where you're going to kick up with one foot and then bring them together and it looks like this. So when you're starting, you want whatever foot you're kicking up with is your bad foot. So my good foot is my left foot. So my left foot is in front. My right foot is in back. Your hands should be just outside of your the width of your body. So um, you can your hips will still fit, um, but your hands are still close together. And then you want your chin, or I can't really get my chin up there. Try and get your chin up, and you want to keep your chin on as long as possible until you get up into your hollow position. If you don't know what a hollow position is, it's um, like kind of a slight smiley face. So it's going to be kind of like that. You want to squeeze your core really tight. You want to squeeze all your leg muscles up to your glutes, um, and that'll help you get over. So if you have a loose body and your chin's not on the bar, and you drop your head, you drop your feet, um, you're not going to make it. That's, that's it. You're going like this, and then you just immediately go like that. Um, my chin was not on the bar and my feet dropped because I was not tight and my chin was not on the bar the whole time. And you want to try and keep your chin on the bar the whole time and this is very important. That's why I keep repeating it. Um, so when you're trying to actually do it, just make sure you keep your chin on the bar and kick, kick your ball all the way over and get your hips to the bar. That's the most important part almost. There's a lot of important parts, but that's definitely one of them. Um, so this is what it looks like when you do it correctly. So, as you can see, um, that was kind of sloppy, but as you can see, I kept my chin on there as long as possible. I could have gone more, but 
I also kept my body tight and able to get over it. And when I was up there, I locked my arms out and I was in my hollow position looking at my feet. Look at your feet the whole time. So when you're kicking the ball, you're looking at your feet. Now some tips if you do not have a spotter is you can grab a mat if you can't adjust your height on your bar or if you can and it's like at a lower setting but you still need some height you can use a mat such as and then I can actually get my chin to the bar this might also help with the where you bring up both your feet at the same time or the actual chin up pullover um this will help you a little if you need some more height though um another option is of course to bring your thing as low as you need it so i really wouldn't go past um like the top of your torso or your chest um because then it's just like too easy if you're still struggling with that go lower and then work your way up if you have a spotter the spotter should only be helping you as much as they um you need so if i can basically do it by myself and i only need a little spot there's those times where sometimes it's like oh am i going over or am i coming down then your spotter is only going to be there really barely even touching you might not need not even need to um if you need extra help and you have a spotter they're going to be there a little more um this this height would i would not start with but um whatever feels comfortable to you whatever feels comfortable with you and your body then that's where you should be another tip is drills so a drill is basically the lazy version of the skill so uh, there are a few pullover drills i'm going to show you the one that my gym uses most at least for my level um it is where you're laying on the ground in your hollow position and you bring your feet up and then down. that will help you get your feet over and this is what it looks like okay so um, for this drill I'm using a broom you can use really anything that you can hold on to in this like a cylinder a long cylinder like this um, that that's kind of gonna act as your bar so you're gonna lay on the ground Let's see, and you're gonna put this um, just right about your chin, maybe a little lower, and hold on to it, um, keeping your body really tight. I don't have anything to set the sides on, but I wouldn't recommend setting that on something. Um, so it's just more sturdy, and you don't have to hold it. But since this is, since I'm just showing you, I'm gonna go this way. So you're just gonna try and bring your feet all the way up and then slowly control them back down. So, um, there is a kind of controlled version. So that was um, one of the drills that you can use to practice your handstands. A, another drill is some strength building drill or core so you can use something that will hold your weight in a push-up position but that's higher off the ground so I'll just use this if you have like a strong pipe or cylinder that you can act as a bar that would be great and then you're um, you're gonna want like something that you put your feet on like that um, I would use this but I'm using this as my thing and you would want to hold that for 
at least like 15 seconds before you come down. And it'll build up your strength a little bit each time. Um, if you keep doing that, that can help. Um, or just holding your hollow body. Um, you could use it with a cylinder, a long cylinder, or just holding it, pretending you have a bar on the floor. Okay, so the next step is to adjust the rope. Try the skill. Um, I don't expect you to get on the first try because I know I didn't. But just remember all the tips um, and go for it. As you can see, I am in my hollow position and my arms are locked up. I'm looking at my feet as well. Um, that was kind of, as you could see, my thighs. It was kind of on my thighs, not on my hips. So next time I would want to try and get my hips to the bar instead of my thighs um, for cleaner um, skill. Um, so that's really all there is to doing a pullover. If you guys would like to see a back hip circle tutorial, I would be more than happy to do that too. Um, I know my comments are off. I just leave them off. So, you know, there's not really a way to contact me unless you know me and you can tell me in person or by text. Um, but I hope you guys improved or this helped you get your back hip circle also i apologize for the noise in the background um but anyways if you like this video like and subscribe and if you want to see more of my videos you can turn on the notification bell to get notified every time i post a new video thank you guys bye